Today we're going to be talking about two-way tables. So a two-way table is a frequency used to show, uh, or a way to show frequencies from a survey um, in which data is classified according to two variables. Uh, frequencies reported in the totals row and the columns row are called marginal frequencies. Uh, the bottom rightmost, um, with the bottom rightmost reporting the total number, uh, the frequencies within the chart um, are joint frequencies. Okay, these are not hugely important terms, but yeah. All right. So let's look at how this plays out. So Valerie asks a random sample of 70 science and math teachers whether they have been to the planetarium. She finds that 25 science teachers have been to the planetarium, 3 have not, while 20 math teachers have been to the planetarium, and 22 have not. Make a two-way table to organize the data. Okay, so first we're going to look at the categories. So we have science teachers, and we have math teachers, and we're going to put totals down here. Then our qualification in this first box will always be unoccupied. Uh, been to the planetarium and have not been. And again, we'll have totals. Okay. Well, according to this, 25 have been science, 3 have not. The math teachers, 20 have been and 22 have not. Then you'll need to do a little math. 25 plus 3 is 28 total science teachers. 20 plus 22 is 42 math teachers. The number of teachers who have been to the planetarium is 45. This is 25. Um, and then the total, these two or these two, and we were told there's 70 total people involved in this survey. Uh, so you go ahead and try the next one. Alright, so when we divvy up this information, we have seniors and juniors. Some are participating in drama club, some are not. Uh, so 44 seniors and juniors want to participate. 32 seniors and juniors do not participate. Um, and these are all the totals that we get. In the last lesson, we talked about conditional probability. And two-way tables are a pretty classic example of using conditional probability. Uh, so Russell surveyed members of the soccer team and softball teams to see if they liked water or sports drinks while they were training. Use a two-way table to find the following probabilities. Okay, so first, a team member likes water given they are a soccer player. Okay, so we're going to look at the total number of soccer players is 60. So that's our denominator. Of those, 36 like water. So for conditional probability, this is the probability of A and B. So the probability uh, that they like water and are on the soccer team over the given part. A member of the softball team, uh, given they like sports drinks. So 57 total like sports drinks, 33 of those liked sports drinks. Uh, so this was, sorry, 60%. This is 38.8%. Uh, a member of the soccer team likes sports drinks. So the given is that they're on the soccer team. And the fact that they like sports drink, 24 of those. So that is 40%. All right, you try the next one. All right, so in our final example, a person that likes Mexican food, given they are a student, so there are 234 students, 145 of which like Mexican food. A person is a student, given they like Italian food, so there's 141 who like Italian food, 89 of which are students, and then a teacher likes Italian food. So there's 85 teachers that we're pulling from, 52 like Italian food. So those are two-way tables and how we can use them in conditional probability.